I know it's dark, but Olivia has gotten so much better on her crutches. I mean, look how fluid she looks. We haven't mastered stairs though. She, she turns around and scoots her way up. Huh? You feel like you have? Upwards of these, my, really? my triceps are going to be amazing. Do not quote me on that because I don't think I put into the right muscle, but same. <laughs> Her arms are getting My very arm strong. Are getting really strong. Yeah, it's a little cold this morning, so we got the fireplace on. I just cleaned the lens. I thought it was like all foggy and weird because it's really dark. Nope, just my camera's dirty. Sorry about that. Here's Olivia's knee. He said all of the white is um, fluid, like inflammation. You can see right here, there's fluid in the front of her bone, fluid in this bone. And he said you only get that with impact when you you know disrupt that you can see all the swelling behind her knee and i'll show you on the diagram that he showed me so here's the kneecap and here's your meniscus in between your thigh bone and your um, calf bone so what olivia did was she aggressively hyperextended her leg this way so your knee normally bends this way she hyperextended it this way this bone and this bone crunched together, causing some pretty good bruising on the bone, putting fluid inside the bone is what he was telling me. Um, it bruised the meniscus and it tore this muscle back here. So the muscles behind her knee that connect up here, it tore up here. Um, so she's got a muscle tear some bone bruising. They were worried about a possible fracture in here, but I don't know if it is. I think that they think there might, may be possibly one, but um, not big enough that they can see very well. So lots of swelling. It's already going down a lot. Um, so what they did was they put her in a different brace. And this one I can kind of move. Like, yeah, so this one kept so her leg much. completely straight, and, and that's, that's so what we were supposed to do. Now that her swelling is down, he wants her I to be able like, to bend it a little bit. I can bend it like mm -hmm. that much by myself. But he yeah. got it to be like more like this, mm -hmm. and then past that, I was not like, don't quite. do that. Not quite. It was more like 90. <laughs> well, it felt like this. <laughs> I'm sure and then it like did. That. I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm sure it felt like he did yeah. more, but he didn't. It was just barely past 90 degrees, so... Oh, my leg was like shaking me. He's like, see how far you can bend on the table? I, I was like, oh my gosh. I know. He's like, please don't pop. So we will still continue to use the crutches. We'll continue to use the brace. And he wants you in it most of most the time. time. He's like, until you can walk like yeah. normally. He's well, like, even when like, you can start walking normally, he wants still. you in the brace. Because what he doesn't want is for you, this prevents you from hyperextending it. He doesn't want you to keep hyperextending it because you'll keep tearing that. He wants that to be able to heal. So we will not be taking the brace off. <laughs> and when we're outside, because it's icy, we can lock the brace yeah, lock so that it. she can't bend it or hyperextend it. Then I'll just still stay flat and not. Yeah, and before I forget, he gave us some exercises to do that we are actually going to do. Usually you go home and you never do the little exercises that, that they give you, but we really want to do the exercises because he said physical therapy was optional. Mm -hmm. So um, he said that if she feels good on your own, you don't have to do it. But if we feel like we're needing it, then we'll go in and do physical therapy. The reason they got us so quickly into the doctor, because all orthopedics were pretty booked, but they rushed us in because he said the MRI was pretty bad. But now that he has you in person, he can see that she's progressed and got better quickly. So that's good. And so if we need to come in for another appointment in January, then we will. But he said that's also optional. So that's good news. And yeah. if I healed quickly from Friday to Monday. Thursday to Monday. Or Thursday to Monday, then. I think we're doing really good. good. I think we're doing really good. Before we leave, and then we can go. But when we're in Florida, he did say he wants you in like a sleeve brace that has the is, little metal things. I do. Mom knows. <laughs> <laughs> like I've gone through every brace there is. I actually have. Yeah, he called me for about 20 minutes. Oh, Aww. that's so fun. We stopped at the post office and we saw an old. Um, I I I saw we saw an old friend at the post office today on the way home, and I was choking back the tears. Like I just, I couldn't even look at him without, my eyes are just filled with tears the whole time. I'm, I hope he like, 
he's old. He has wisdom. He knows that it just felt good for me to see him. But so he called you. Oh yeah. What did yeah, he say? He just chit chatted. He wanted to know everything <laughs> and how things are going. And he's already planning on. He's like, well, when you get back, let's throw some clay pigeons. Let's do it. Oh, like, okay. he's eighty-five. He sounds rough. On he the... he's really. He looks a little different than yeah. when we moved. Mm -hmm. One year makes a really big difference in people's lives. Um, me and Olivia were sitting here cleaning these crutches off. And I was thinking, um, it just like, I was thinking, I wonder what my mom did when I was on crutches. Because I don't remember her wiping the bottom of my crutches or anything. But I know I had them in and out of the house, you know. Mm -hmm. And then it dawned on me that I was in crutches right after my mom built her new house. <laughs> So Olivia and I are in such similar situations. I don't remember you ever walking. So was it sixth grade? Yeah, so I was in sixth grade. So it was just before we met. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yep. So you had just gotten off your crutches. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Yep. When I met you, I had ju I was like just recovering. And, and it was like perfect because it was like in the summertime. Like you're mm -hmm. just barely finished. Yeah, because you did it in Halloween. Enough for my teacher to... Kick my leg. <laughs> yeah. Yes. She kicked oh. on purpose? Not on purpose, on accident. And I remember telling her, I said, all the kids could be careful enough and you, my teacher is the one that kicked me. She didn't like me, I didn't like her. Her name was Mrs. Wilson. When your baby's cold, hey, get your ear out. <laughs> Calm down, she got a paw out, there's a paw out. <laughs> Both paws are out, oh okay. gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I I'm like almost in tears. Mm. I feel so bad for getting mad at her for peeing everywhere. Poor little thing. She's had a bladder infection for a while. Multiple. Well, multiple. So she had one. We came in, got her on antibiotic. Came in, got her on another antibiotic later, and her okay. pee. We thought there was a dead mouse in the house. We thought there was a dead mouse in the house. Be oh, Donnie, she can have that huge one. <laughs> She's like, oh, yeah, yes, she can. I can. She's like, I have. <laughs> so we brought her in, and we're like, her pee stinks. Her entire body stinks. Like, right after we give her a bath, her body still smells really, really bad. Mm -hmm. And when she goes potty, she's not peeing all the way. She just does little ones, which is abnormal for her. She usually does a long pee in the morning, long pee in the afternoon, long pee at night. She has stopped drinking water, which we were like, all right, there's something wrong. But she sleeps with the kids every single night. And never in her entire five years of life has she ever peed in the bed. Mm -hmm. And last night she peed on Boston. Boston said, he said, all night, I just kept getting whiffs of it. And he's like, <laughs> and he goes, I was just wishing it would be morning. I was wishing it would be morning. Oh. Like, why didn't you come and get me? Yeah. I would have changed your sheets right yeah. then and there oh, and put that. you back to bed. <laughs> anyway, so we came in, got an x-ray, and it's not one giant stone, but that full circle right here is the whole size of her bladder. Her entire bladder is full. They said, they call it sand, but they're crystallized um, stones. They checked her urine and it's crystal. They found like crystallized things in her urine. Mm -hmm. It's full of mm -hmm. stones. Mm -hmm. And they said it would take months to even possibly try to do with like yeah. medication or oral. So she's having surgery tomorrow. I knew you weren't going to be peeing in the house forever. Yeah, we knew something was wrong. That's very abnormal for her. Mm -hmm. Very, very abnormal. Mm-hmm. Which is why she's been in her crate more often, which mm -hmm. thanks to everyone who, you know, gave me crap about that. But um, she's been in her crate because she just has peeing all over mm -hmm. the place. And, and even if you take obviously her we can't body, have that. Won't, yeah, she won't pee or she does pee. It's just a little bit with taking her way more often. She just we're going to get it figured out. But I have noticed there's been a few times I've picked her up. Mm -hmm. And she's made little yelps, and I'm like, "That's why she's been yipping more when hurting, you pick her I've up." Because I always thought, "Oh, Laura, did I hurt her back? I know she's got back issues. You're just kind of a bundle of issues." But it was her little bladder, probably. Because uh, <laughs> I have noticed, and I've mentioned that when I'm cutting her or something, you can feel her bladder is rock hard hmm. because it's full of 
crystallized. Yeah, before they did oh. the scan, the doctor felt her bladder and she was like, it's very full. The second she turned the monitor around, I was like, oh boy. It's like, yeah, that does not look good. That's your pretty body. Oh, I'm just happy it's not something. We thought it was cancer. And I was pretty. Devastated. And we were in tears driving in here because we thought that we were going to have to. Okay, we didn't know they were going to take her in today, but I'm glad because you'll be ready for Christmas. So they're going to go do surgery. So we'll say goodbye to you. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, no, I'm not in tears. Okay, thank you very thank much. You're very welcome. We just got back from dropping Lady off, and oh my gosh, what happened here? I'll tell you what I was actually doing when that happened. I was having a conversation with myself about everything going on with Ruby and just how pissed off I am. And I was backing up and I didn't see a road sign. And I took out the road sign. I, I can't. It looked like a whole bunch of different ones on the x-ray, but it's all these ones and then they aggregated together. So it's super rough, oh which gosh. the inside of the bladder was pretty beat up because this has been in there bouncing around. Um, but it should recover. It recovers pretty quick. Okay. It's kind of like your mouth where it just like heals quick mm -hmm. or something. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. It takes... I mean, a good week, sometimes a little bit longer when it's that inflamed, but so she might still have some accidents, okay, mm -hmm. because that bladder wall is still really inflamed, mm -hmm. but with the medicine we've got her on, so we've got her on an antibiotic and some pain medicine, that should help, okay, but it's still going to take probably a good couple weeks for that bladder to fully kind of get back to itself where we're not having accidents and those issues, okay. So that her body wasn't like banging against mine. Oh, so my gosh. arm is like on fire, but oh. I have a picture of the stone. It took up her entire bladder and it we, they thought it was a whole bunch of individual ones, but they had all crystallized together. So it was one big? So it was one giant one that took up the in her entire bladder. I wonder if she They can't. said it was the size of her bladder and the inside of her bladder was all cut up and like oh. shredded. No wonder it's so smelly and stuff. Mm -hmm. Little finger tongue's like hanging out. She's like dazed and confused. Yeah, she's really like kind of out of it. They said just to like let her have a calm rest of the day. Yeah, well, we'll go lay her on Olivia. I know that's what I thought. Oh, good. Here. That's so sad. Cord, you follow your mom more. <laughs> I know. <laughs> okay. Follow mom in and get help them get settled. And then you get back out here, bud. Thanks. I think Lady and I have done enough crying for the day. Mm -hmm. mm. Sweet thing. Poor little thing. We've been holding her all day, but she kind of was moving around like she wanted to move, and well, she so. She wasn't like comfortable, and so she tried to move herself, and then she just ended up like crying. Yeah, so mm -hmm. I think she wanted a little mm -hmm. bit of just space. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, my sweet little thing. We turn your fireplace on in a little bit. Mm -hmm. I just don't want her to get too hot. I think we'll leave it off for now. Right. We'll just draw a picture of the fireplace.